Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're gonna paint a bunch of portraits. So I bought a huge ass ruler. In this episode, I used the gridding method, which I've never used before. There's a lot of mathematical equations involved in transferring a grid from a picture to a paper but I'm not gonna delve into that anymore here I'm just practicing the portrait on sketch paper before transferring to oil paper so that I can get a feel of the person's facial features Then I primed my oil paper with acrylic gesso with a little bit of burnt sienna. Then I transferred the grid onto the oil paper. I like to pre-mix my skin tones before I start painting on the oil paper. This makes it so much easier for the entirety of the sessions. So my biggest fear happened and I lost about 30 minutes of video recordings. I didn't know that the file was corrupted and it sucks but yeah. The good thing is I was able to salvage about 20 minutes worth of recordings for the first portrait. Anyway, here it is. I didn't go into too much details of the clothes and the background because I was focused on the face. This is actually the easiest portrait in this episode, mainly because he's wearing glasses and you can't really see his eyes. And that's a portrait of Coco Martin. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, moving on to my next portrait. Uh, Kimmy, oh, she has a very fair skinned face. And I had to be really careful about the tonal values here. Um, the key here is subtlety.
Now on to the biggest challenge so far. Okay, this gave me so much anxiety because painting portraits with an open smile is never a good idea. I mean, the hardest part of the face to paint is not the eyes, not the nose, not the ears, but it's actually the mouth. But it was a challenge that of course I was gonna take. So as much as possible, I started with the easiest ones. I started with the eyes, the nose, the face, and I put up painting the mouth until the later part of the session. So at this point, I had to take a break and Billie Eilish came on and of course I had to dance to it but I can't copy and paste her music here so just imagine that bad guy's on and I'm dancing like crazy. Alright, I was pretty beat after that. I've been painting for about 8 hours straight now so I figured I deserved a rest. Okay, when I woke up, the sun was out, and I had been asleep for 9 hours! Also, my cat decided to visit me, uh, that's Bacon. She likes to annoy me when I paint.
Now it was on to paint the mouth. I think this one took me two, two and a half hours and I used the smallest brush that I had for the details and I made sure that I painted it as slowly as I can so as not to commit mistakes and I think it turned out well. I mean obviously I think I could have done so much better but because I was running out of time I didn't want to overdo it so one to two layers was enough. and that's it thank you guys for watching this video i have a part two coming up next week where i paint more of my workmates so stay tuned also don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and if you want to leave a comment you're welcome to do so thank you